Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Faux Show. Today is Friday, October 23rd. My name is Angela. And my name is Chris. And as most of you know, The Faux Show is not a real show. No, 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 what? It is a social experience. Oh, okay. I almost said experiment, and I hate it when people say that. Well, <laughs> it's, it's not an experiment. It is an experience because we have chat rooms. Because I don't look at you. I look at the chat which I have, I have here on my iPad. Mm, be- beautiful. Powerful. But it's over there on monitor where we can see ourselves. <laughs> Best lower third, though. And you know where what we, I love about this? Uh, is that this, you skipped the full screen on your screen? That. Yeah. I mean, it is that. full screen on my screen. Yes, okay. But you know what I love about this lower third is this is a real social network. Before your Twitters and your Facebooks came along and you had mm-hmm. your face pages and your, your plurks, <laughs> there was IRC, the original social network, and we have it embedded into our lower third over there at jblive.tv. Hello, chat room, and thank you Bye for joining you. us on this Friday edition of The Faux Show. Yes. And this one... This is an episode that I have been prepping for my entire life. <laughs> I was handling my inner Johnny Ive. Yeah. I have been prepping. Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo, yeah. That's who you look like. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ouch. Ow. Oh, God, it's killer. You know, all right, here's the deal. <laughs> oh, when, you, when you lose weight, there's like so much less padding. <laughs> Are you saying I have a lot of weight right here? Is that what no, you're saying? No, I'm just saying I've lost a lot of weight. So there's. That's not- right. You've got me like five times on the pre show. And so the only thing I do is give you a really good one during the show. So you have to sit with I know. it. It is a little mean. All right, so we're not talking about my hair or the fact that Ange thinks I look like Johnny Bravo. We are talking about how much we all universally as a people hate spiders. Yes. So let's just. uh... Angela, don't put that on the screen. (laughs) Don't put. Stop it. Stop it. Can you take that off your screen, please? Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, yeah, I thought there's a little bit of uh, personal trivia that we've never really shared Mm. with the audience. Okay. And that is neither one of us are huge fans of spiders. No. Um, but you and I have a different... Uh, our, our, our Our spider fears oh. are kind of like, you, you, you fear one category of spiders and I fear the other. Okay. Uh, for me, it's, it's a certain kind of spider. But let's start sure. with, what's your, like, what is your spider that doesn't bother you at all? If you come across a spider... None. Really? They all bother me. Okay. Like, if I see a little tiny one crawling on me, it's like, Ugh. Oh, no. yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, and it's not know, even, It doesn't matter, doesn't it's matter what size or how hairy or how many eyes or legs or whatever, you know, like, no, just none. Yeah. None. See, for me, like the little tree spiders, the little, the little, like, uh, yeah, kind you, of. Yeah, you have no problem pinching them. Yeah, I just, just picked, I was, I was putting out the awning on the trailer yesterday and there was a spider in the awning. I just picked it up and moved it. Oh, you moved it. You didn't even kill it, huh? No, I just picked up and moved it. Okay. Uh, well, Hadia would yell at me if, yeah. I, if I killed it. So I can't do that. So I pick it up and I move it. <laughs> and my first thought is, I will destroy That's you for invading my home. <laughs> yeah, and then set it on fire. <laughs> so yeah. where I get weird, and uh, this is maybe for you guys out there. In my house, they die. I have no problem with those little guys that like, you know, maybe on the side of your house and they have a little web going and it's nice. You know, they're cleaning up the bugs. I don't have any issue yeah, with those. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're good for that. That's, that's fine. Where, where it gets weird for me is if... It, they have a certain look to them, and it's the wolf spider look. Do you have any pictures of wolf spiders? And we'll just show them. I don't them. think so. Maybe you can look. You, you know what? Why don't you? Right. Because yeah. I'm really afraid of this. Yeah, you're worried. This. She's so got while, the fire While he's friend. looking it up, I'm just going to go over some uh, Hi, sir. I typed wolf spider. <laughs> I typed wolf <laughs> Oh, I bet there is. I bet there is. Right? <laughs> let's look, okay. if, if it's internet, let's it exists. See, let's see, let's so, so, And if not, then somebody in the chat room needs to uh, superimpose All right. wolf onto spider. a spider. <laughs> let's go look for wolf spider. Let's see. Images. I got wolf in a- Yeah, images. There we go. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yeah, there's a lot. Wow. Okay. So uh, here's a myth. This is nothing but pictures of spiders. That's nothing but pictures of spiders. Spiders come into the house in the fall to get out of the cold. That is a myth? It is. I I, I don't think that's a myth at all. It is. It is. Here's the thing. Spiders are cold-blooded. They don't get They don't get cold. Oh, that makes sense. Yeah. They they actually can live in freezing temperatures. The other thing is that house spiders are different than uh, outside spiders. Yeah, right? Yeah. Okay. So, yeah. Um, anyway, uh, let's see what else. Uh, they colonize new houses by egg sacs carried on furniture, yeah. building materials, and so forth. And they usually spend their entire life cycle in, on, or under their native building. Right? Okay. So, like, yeah. Um, here's what's interesting. Spider, Lay down. The reason why you see more spiders in the fall is not because it's cold. It's a reasonable deduction, right? I've always noticed more spiders in the fall. It's males... Seeking out a mate. So they're getting their... Really? Yeah, and that's why you want to kill them, right? Oh, because yeah, you're they're right. out to reproduce. All right, now here's the other thing. We find spiders in sinks. 
all the time. Right? I hate so, that. Or bathtubs uh, even. Uh, yes. Bathtubs is the worst. So here's a picture of me. An awesome picture. I might not. <laughs> uh, I had caught a spider, which you, which you can't really make out, but my face is enough to know that it's disgusting. I can kind of see where the spider's at, though. It was huge. It was It was. A, it was about this big. I'm, I literally have goosebumps right now just looking at this picture. <laughs> I really, it's, so it's awful. I was doing the dishes, just, you know, putting them in the, in the dishwasher and something moved and I thought it was just like a spoon or something and no, it was a huge freaking oh, spider. Oh, gosh. And, and it didn't take me long to figure out that he can't get out of there. No, yeah, he can't. They like, don't get so, traction on the side. So then I'm like, cool, I'm boss. You know, yeah, like, yeah. I got it. I've I got, got him this. trapped. I got this. So okay, I'll get a jar, right? I'm kidding. The Crawley's just talking about it. Um, so I got him in this jar and I covered it with a paper towel that you can see there in the picture, um, and I let him out outside, which apparently is not the best thing to do. Like, so I didn't kill it because I can't squash big spiders like yeah, that. I can't yeah, stand yeah. the sound yeah. of hearing their organs bust open. You know, like <laughs> and their bones or they're big enough. They you actually bones. hear a crunch. Yeah, I it's just so can't gross. do it. I just yeah. can't do it. No. So, so I let him. I let him outside. Uh, but the thing is, house spiders typically can't survive outside. Good. Yeah, I know, right? Yeah. So, Good. But um. This is a normal thing to find spiders in a sink. What they're doing is they're looking for mate, food, or water. And sinks have water. But once they get in, they can't get out because of the uh, texture of the sink. Even though we see spiders crawling on walls and mm-hmm. ceilings all the mm-hmm. time, there's something about stainless steel or porcelain or whatever, they cannot get out of there. So they did not come up the drain. Yeah. They were in there looking for water. Yes. That is interesting. So where my where my range of spiders starts to get really weird is the Ugh. anything that looks like the wolf spider. Doesn't even have to be a wolf spider, but anything where the where you can start <laughs> to see the joints. Yeah, there you go. They found a wolf spider. That's awesome. Anything where you can start to see like the joints in the spider's leg, and you Ew. can see individual hairs, and you can make out certain sort of like aggressive <laughs> details. Uh, like you know, speaking of aggressive details, you may have seen uh, this. Uh, Where'd it go? Oh, geez. Come on. Ah, oh, never mind. Never mind. Firefox. There you go. There it is. There. There's the wolf spider right there. Uh, no, anytime you see like a spider that kind of starts to look like the wolf spider, I get really weird. So, and yeah. here's a couple of things I've learned about wolf spiders over the years that I think should actually make you afraid of them. So here's the thing, because Chris lived in a dome home on a lake. Yeah. And this dome home had these spiders. Yeah, they, they had these. Yeah, I grew up with these. Yeah. These are the spiders that I grew up with. And uh, they are monsters. They are just monsters. They are just the most disgusting thing ever. Here's a couple of interesting facts about them. Uh, And I didn't really know this until we were trying to kill them because we had an infestation of them. Um, So say say you don't really want to touch them because they're large enough. This is the real story. You know, I've told the story a thousand times. Uh, They're large enough that they sometimes you see them moving out of the corner of your eye and you think they're one of your household pets. (laughs) So uh, my mom was downstairs working one night. And I hear, you know, Christopher, get the vacuum. (laughs) And I think, okay. And I bring the vacuum down to my mom. And out of the corner of her eye, she thought she saw one of our cats walking, realized it was a wolf spider, and then didn't want to squish it because it was big enough that it was about about the circumference of her hand, right? And uh, so she wanted to suck it up with the vacuum. So we get the vacuum all plugged in, and this guy's just standing in the middle of the floor watching us. We get the vacuum all hooked up. <laughs> Taunting you. <laughs> we take off, like, the part you use to roll the floor with, and we just have just the hose. The hose, yeah. Go to suck up the vacuum. Go to suck up the spider with the hose, and what happens? Clamps on to the it end. clamps on to the edge of the hoses and holds on to the edge of the hose with a vacuum, a powerful vacuum. He holds on, and then... <laughs> boom, 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 and they can live uh. in that vacuum bag. Here's another fun fact. They can shut down the respiratory system for over 24 hours. So if you try to spray them with, with bug killer and then try to cover them up with, say, like a jar, or you try to drown them in water, they just shut down the respiratory system. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. They don't. Dr- I tried to drown that one in my sink. Yeah. You know, but yeah. he was waterproof. He yeah. Just, they just, he like curled up and then he was just like, oh, whatever. <laughs> yeah. They don't care. They yeah, don't care at all. No. They are like some sort of mutant from space that is designed to destroy humanity mm-hmm. a little bit at a time. And they uh, they love damp areas. So like if you have a crack in the foundation in your house, they just come in through there and they love Oops, to get into sorry. that. Oh, jeez. Nope. Oh, jeez. Oh, look at this All right. One. Look at, yeah. So a uh, friend of mine that lives in Arizona, their kid's bike had one on there. Do you see that? Yeah, I see it. <laughs> and then uh, one of her daughters said, Mom, can I get a jar to catch a spider? Black Widow. Whoa. Yeah. Now, thankfully, we, I don't think we have Black Widows in our neck of the woods. But no. Those wolf spiders can be poisonous. Yeah. We do have those. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I. Uh, so what? One of the things as a parent mm-hmm. is I didn't really want to transfer arachnophobia to the kids. Right. But like anything that you are genuinely bothered by, the kids like you don't tell them to be afraid of something. No. If they ever just witness you being bothered, and I tried not to I'd never yes. lose my cool around spiders and the kids. Yeah. But even still, like 
all the kids. Like Dylan doesn't really have a problem, but he sort of does. But yeah. he has this is more like mine. He has uh, well, for lack of a better word, manned up for me a couple times. So yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, his is the smaller spiders don't seem to bother him like me. Yeah, it's not. It's yeah. the big ones we get in the garages that yeah. freak me out. And we have yeah. had a few big ones in our garage. Yes, and the thing, the lesson learned when oh, they're yeah. in the garage is if as soon as you see them. You got to do something about them because they run away and hide and they don't come out again a lot no, of times. No, no. I'm getting goosebumps again thinking yeah. about it. Um, so I finally, I was cleaning out the entryway and I put the car seats out in the garage. And so I walked and I just, I just walked without looking. You know, I just walked out there. Can't ever do that. You can't so, do that. Because there's a bunch of stuff in the garage. It needs to be cleaned out. A lot out. of boxes. So I set and, down the car seat and then on my way back, there was one between No, you can't do that. Then you're stuck the out there. You're stuck out there I now. I know. I know. And then I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? I can't get to the stairs. One could be getting on me right now. Like I'm standing in the, I'm still in the middle of the garage. So, so I'm like, shoot. So then I run. Right. So then, then would you do run through past it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's brave. How like, big was I, it? Uh, it it was a little bit smaller. So, but, but the thing is, so sometimes the smaller ones, if they look like ones that are gonna get bigger, they mm -hmm. bother me still. Yeah, it looked like yeah, it was yeah. Oh, yeah, get, yeah, 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 totally. The garage ones always but, do. Right, but here's the deal. So then uh, a couple days later, I wanted to go out to the garage to get corn dogs or Mountain Dew. Did you remember? Two. Did you remember it was out there? Yeah, okay. because it was on some bubble wrap, yeah, you yeah, know? Yeah. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to pick up that bubble wrap just so that I have the peace of mind that it's not there. I pick up the bubble wrap, something falls out of it, right? <gasps> yeah, I know. And I'm like, oh, it's just, go oh my God, it's a spider. It's dead. Okay. Like, right. I think I scared it. I think I honestly scared, no, I'm just kidding. But then I get to the fridge and there's a beetle staring at me. Jeez. Tell me these things don't come in when it starts getting cold outside. Yeah. <laughs> come on. I don't know. Those spiders seem like indoor spiders. I don't know. They're big and black. I don't know. I mean, they, they're mean. They're, that's what she said. So here's something I have developed over okay. the years. And I, 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 I believe it's a genuine gift. And if I was ever going to believe in like six senses, like ESP, this would oh. make me believe it. And I've never really met anybody else until, until just a couple of years ago that also has this true, genuine ability. You know what I'm talking about, right? Um, well, what? I don't know. Spider radar. Yeah, okay. Yeah, he, right, right, let, me, let me tell a story. Okay. I thought it would be great. <laughs> I got these really awesome picture frames. <laughs> and I put, uh, they're like eight by 10. I put pictures of Dylan, or, and I don't know if Abby was around by, at that point. And I hung them up above his double doors to his office. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. this totally. And so yeah. then the next day I'm sitting in there and I'm like, well, did you, know, did you notice anything? And he was, he was talking to me. And all of a sudden, out of the corner of the, his eye, he noticed there was something big and dark on the wall <laughs> above his doors. And he freaked out. Yeah, like, it was like, what the fuck? <laughs> so I, uh, when I, I took those down. <laughs> when I, I have this weird thing so that I. So his spider sense is really good. <laughs> when I developed it, no, that's. I know. That will, that, that, there are things that trick it. So yeah. uh, I'll tell you that to picture frames and one other thing I'll get to in a second. Okay. Um, I walk into a room, and I think it's from growing up with these uh, wolf spiders, I subconsciously scan the entire room for any dark spots. And if I see a dark spot, I immediately zero in on it, and I'll, you know, it's right. a spider, like immediately. Right. So, and what's weird about it, and this I swear to God is true, is it happens when they're behind me sometimes too. Like I'll, I'll sometimes turn around and look right where a spider's at, and they're like, whoa, how did I know that spider? <laughs> and listen, I'm telling you, for 33 years now, this has been a thing like, whoa, whoa, oh, that's a spider, and it's the craziest thing. Holy crap, Every, you know how old you are? <laughs> I know. So here's the two Super things. Proud. Here's the two things that set it off: tax or photo frames in areas that never were before. Tax, definitely. Yeah. Every time. Yeah. I don't know why I don't take it off of the wall in our room. And then the Jeez. last one that gets me, and this is like it totally makes sense because anytime I have killed a, a spider in a room, I will always forever remember the exact position that spider was at, and I always recheck the area automatically. Well, this, I mean, this sometimes conscious. there's guts there. So, That's the yeah, thing. Right. See, I've killed a spider there, and then every now and then, the, the, the kill doesn't go super smooth, and a little bit of guts are left behind. Those mm -hmm. guts, from then on, forever, ever, are a spider. set off the, sp the spider uh, 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 sonar. And I'm constantly thinking, oh, spider radar is picking up. Uh, 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 nope, nope, it's just a dead spider. But here's the thing. I leave it there as a warning to all future spiders. <laughs> yeah, right? And like, you see those guts? I, know. I will kill you if you enter my, and I'm hoping maybe yes. they smell it or they see it and they go, this sure. is not a spider-friendly territory, I'm leaving. I don't know if that's true or not. I'll even sometimes leave spider bodies behind as a warning. I left the spider body there. And you know what? I, I, I don't really often, well, actually, now <sighs> I think about it, I've seen, I've seen live spiders hanging out where dead spiders are, but not that often. <laughs> not yeah. that often. Yeah. They're yeah. usually competitive. Yeah, and the, yeah, exactly. They will kill the other ones. Yep. Yeah, it's yeah. There's a oh, ooh. I know. I was gonna try to look for a GIF. It'll probably crash my browser, but that's okay. Cause I'm I, not, I'm I gotta not say, late. what? Uh, we knew we were doing the "I Hate Spiders" episode uh, days and days ago, and uh, I don't, 
I don't remember a lot of my dreams. I almost, I usually go, I remember one dream a week, basically. And the one dream that I remember this week, and I believe it's because I knew this episode was coming, I had a nightmare about spiders. I had a spider nightmare. I don't like, I like, that's what I get. I finally get to have a dream and it's a spider nightmare. So I just want you, dear audience, to know that in preparation for this episode of Elfo, I yep. had nightmares. All right. It's this one. Wow. That's totally going to crash your browser. I guarantee it. I know. I'm going to copy the link. You could do it in Chrome. Open it in Chrome. Open oh. that link up in Chrome. Where? There you go. This that's one? the top icon because that's the number one browser okay. you should be using. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We just have Firefox crashing all the time. I'm not kidding. I'm not kidding. All right, I'm just going to mute yeah. it. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, gosh, what is this? Oh, it's my gosh. It's a wolf spider. Yeah. Okay, so you see how he tries to smash it with a broom? I don't think you should mute it. I think you should. And then a whole bunch of baby spiders come out. A whole ass ton. And then the spider itself is still uh, alive, Ange. The spider itself I is know. still alive, Ange. I know. And he's still trying to smash it, Ange. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What was that? What was that? Was that? Is that something on you? No. no. Okay. okay, good. Okay. Well, I saw this, and I thought that was a spider. Oh, 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 oh God, that is so horrible. Um, Why did you play that? Why why do spiders why are they able to look reproduce, at the look reproduce so many? Yeah, it was because so many of them die. Yeah, that's really what it is. It's so uh, I know. Just take it off the screen, okay? Just take it off. Just get rid of it. So there you go. Um, all right. Any last uh, bits on spiders? Spider trivia, spider stuff. No, although uh, I don't really believe that fall thing. To be honest, I with do. You. I my experience has taught me that I see way. Well, you're saying it's just because they're humping? See, to me, it's looking seems for like, a mate. I guess it does make sense. They're cold-blooded. Spiders don't like to be seen. You know, like yeah. we we keep the garage light on all the time because they don't they don't like That's light. True. You That's know, true. so well, that is one of our it, tricks I mean, is to keep the garage light on. Obviously, we still see spiders, but yeah. you know, well, like, they're they're nocturnal. Yeah. Too, so that helps. Yeah, I'd like to actually in the comments for this week's episode, I'd like to know if you have any perilous spider stories. And I know we're gonna have some spider advocates oh, out there. We yeah. try not to kill yeah. them whenever possible. Yeah. We made it sound like we're a bunch yeah. of spider murders. It's just when they yeah. get into the really crazy, creepy, could bite your children so, size. Yeah, well, and they like to hang out in the weirdest spots. Like I was um, in the dog's toy box like six years, seven, yeah. seven, seven six or seven years it ago. Got a monster that came and, out of there. Like was pulling toys out, and then th- I would just like. It was seriously three and a half inches in diameter. It was huge. Yeah. It know, was the size of a of a latent penis. <laughs> of a latent? <laughs> like a, uh, a latent? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> a latent. Uh, you know what I think it is? Flaccid. I, there you go, flaccid. That's what I meant. Yeah. I think I think Washington has the biggest slugs and some of the biggest spiders in, in the northern hmm. states. Hmm. I think the northern states, I think Washington, I don't know for sure, mm-hmm. but our slugs are huge and mm-hmm. so are our spiders. And yeah. many. Yeah, we have a lot of them, too. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's just a lot of them because it's yeah. a lot of trees and wooded areas up here. So I had to get that spider out. I screamed for Chris. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he thought something was wrong with Dylan, so Dylan was around. But, uh, no, it was a huge spider. I ended up just taking a whole box of toys out outside and just <laughs> dumping it. Yeah, because well, if you don't find them right away and it gets back in the box. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. All right. <sighs> Let's wrap well, this one up. I'm getting the heebie Yeah, that is it for this episode of The Faux Show. We'll see you next week. Did you enjoy this photo show? Well, guess what? You can catch more at jupiterbroadcasting.com and subscribe to the weekly RSS feed. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode of The Faux Show. <laughs> really? <laughs> Today. I'll be back <laughs> later. You let me know when you're podcasting again, okay? Hey, whatever. I was articulate. It was... <laughs> I was Hello, everybody. I was, I was enunciating. I'm a of <laughs> What is that? <laughs> Hello, everybody, and welcome to this episode. <laughs> Turns out. <laughs> we should do one like that. Okay.